All right, all right, all right, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in to Chuck Out Millionaire. I promise you I was making a stop. I'm visiting so many people. <laughs> um, I'm going to be seeing a lot of you, especially those of you who want to meet me in the city, uh, in the GTA area or in the Brampton area, wherever you are. If you'd like to meet me, remember to drop a comment down there. I am currently visiting a property that has a bit of a history. Uh, so you see this property right here? I'm about to go into this property. Okay, if you can see this property right here. I'm going to be going inside this property. And then I'm going to be giving you a bit of history. I want you to look at this property carefully. Okay. It's a beautiful property. I'm going to go inside. And I'm going to give you a bit of a history. Now, by the time I finish this video, my objective is to convince you on real estate investing. I want you to see why I encourage Africans or immigrants to buy properties. Let's go inside this property and take a tour. And then I can tell you a bit about this. The current market value of this property, okay, is minimum $2 million. This property you are seeing here, guys, that is my car right there. The market value of this property as we speak today is a minimum of $2 million. Meaning if the owner decides to sell this property, the owner is going to be selling it for anything not, not less than $2 million Canadian dollars. Let's go inside and let's take a tour and let's see whether you can learn a thing or two when it comes to real estate investing. Let's get inside. Okay. All right. So this is the stairs. Uh, this home is uh, smart protected. So you can see the sign right here. All right. Um, and this is the stairs. When it comes to property valuation, which is how we determine the price of properties, it all has to do with the location of the property, the condition of the property, and the year of the property, the year that it was built. This property was built five years ago. So it is basically five years old, okay? And it's located in a prime location in the Toronto area, the GTA. Um, so this is the front. I'm gonna walk in, it has cameras installed and a doorbell as well good and i'm gonna go in now um it has a basement and a main floor it's actually two levels so uh this is the main floor and then it has stairs all the way up i'm gonna be taking my time to take you guys through the owner of this property is moving out the owner was staying here but the owner is moving out and to a new place so they are preparing to rent this place out in fact some people are coming to view it so furniture and other things have been moved so many things have been moved it's pretty empty but i'm going to just go around and show you okay now the ceiling height is awesome the ceiling height of this property is something else hmm? it's very 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 tall the ceiling height all right that is a, a temperature tracker here it tracks the temperature of the inside and tells you what the temperature is and all of that. All right, so I'm going to start from, hmm, where do I start from? Should we go upstairs or should we go downstairs? Okay. Hmm, okay, so let's start from here. Let's start from here. Okay, let's start from here. How many bedrooms in total? Seven bedrooms plus a den. It has seven bedrooms in total plus a den. Uh, they also have six bathrooms or washrooms. It has a total of six washrooms. Uh, it's a two-level uh, property, so there is a basement down here, and then this is the main floor, and then there is a second floor right here. So let's start with the main floor. Okay. <laughs> this was built five years ago. How much was it purchased for five years ago? It was built brand new and sold to the owner of this property for about uh, 600000 It was within the 600000 less than 650000 five years ago. I repeat, this property was bought brand new five years ago in a prime location in the greater Toronto area for 600000 range, less than 650000 and this is one of the washrooms. 
when you walk in and you want to just quickly uh, take care of yourself you don't need to get to the main washroom this is one of their washroom as soon as you walk in okay as soon as you walk in all right so the owner of this property bought this for um six hundred thousand thereabout but today this property is worth two million dollars wow did you see that five years ago five years ago somebody bought this property for six hundred thousand the person didn't do much work to it it's just basically the way it is hmm? putting your things here and living in with your family but as we speak today this property is worth two million dollars so even if you buy a property in a good location and you sit on it without doing anything i tell you real estate appreciate over time can you see that in five years this property has more than tripled in value it is what it is that is what we call real estate that is the power of acquiring property that is why i encourage you guys to buy properties because these markets in the western world they work the market work it is predictable you can predict where the market is going to be hmm? all right now this is kind of like their living area great lighting I told you they are moving, so they have a lot of stuff packed. They are moving. This is a laundry area. <laughs> this is a laundry area. So this is the washer and the dryer right here. Huge, super speed steam washer and a dryer. Very huge. Brand new. I was told this was in excess of $1,000 for each of this. Okay. And um, this is a garage. So a double door garage. You can have two cars coming in here. You can see they have some furniture and some lawnmower here. So this is a garage. Yeah, this is a garage. All right. Some extra cabinet space here. My connection got a little bit bad there. Sorry about that. Okay. And then this is the other side of the living room, huge cabinet space, right? Extra cabinet space here, a lot of cabinet space. Okay, all right. And this is a kitchen area, modern appliances. I understand this were all purchased five years ago, but they still look great. The fridge alone was over $4,000 for this uh, kitchen aid uh, fridge here. Beautiful cabinets extra island here hooked up so if you got a wife your wife is definitely going to love this huge space here and then this is the access to the backyard you can actually just get from here straight to the backyard uh, by getting through from here beautiful and this is the living area right here you can see the living area you can see the living area beautiful lighting beautiful light fixtures throughout um, they are leaving this couch behind for the new tenant. They said they prefer the couch, so they left them. If they don't want it, they can also put them in the garage. Uh, this is a fireplace built, a beautiful fireplace. You can turn it on and enjoy some nice fire whilst you're watching your TV. TV mount is right here. Beautiful session here. All right. Good. So I'm going to go upstairs. Let me try and open one of the cabinets here. A lot of rooms, huh? Our wives love a lot of cabinet space. So this is all like extra space for our wives. Especially if you have a wife and you're living here. This is a lot of space. Another space here you can turn into a play area for your kids aside from the living area there. So basically this place has a lot of options. It has a lot of options. Let me go upstairs and see what we can find upstairs, okay? All right, so this is the steps to go upstairs. As I told you, the ceiling height is just incredible. Incredible ceiling height. All right. <laughs> what makes this property wet so much is the location. It is in a prime location in Canada and the capital of Canada and Ontario. So the value of this property is massive. It's also an extremely beautiful property. I'm currently on the second floor where we have some bedrooms and uh, um, other spaces here. So I'm going to be showing you each of them. So this room here has been marked a prayer room. 
you can tell the owner of this property does a lot of praying. Huh? The family here, this is a family that prays a lot. So this is their prayer room. All they do here is just to do the kaboom and the prayers. huh? Yeah, prayer room. This is a prayer room. Yeah, this is your prayer room. Yeah. And the prayer room leads to a washroom. So even in the prayer room right here, you can walk straight from the prayer room to another washroom. A 36-inch uh, sink, double sink, or double vanity. With a bathroom. Beautiful bathroom as well. <laughs> Remember, this leads to the prayer room, okay? If we have extra space, you can definitely have a prayer room where you and your family or you and your wife can go and pray and seek the face of God. This room has been marked the pillow room. This room is a pillow room. The story behind this is that this is a guest room. So in case the, uh, the, the, the owner receives a visitor, this is their room. The vis this is basically a visitor room, Mark the pillow room. So I understand there are so many pillows on the bed here. If you come in, you're going to enjoy it. Let's go into the pillow room and see how it looks. It has its own washroom as well. You can see a 36-inch vanity right here. It has its own bathroom and a toilet here as well. Then extra dresser space here for you. If you are a visitor and you are visiting, very cozy uh, carpet, very warm. And then this is all space for you to hang your clothes, closet space, very huge. So this is the pillow room, a.k.a. visitor's room. So if they receive a guest, this is where the guests will sleep. All right, so let me walk out from here and go to the other room. This room here has no name. Um, there was a name of one of the kids. Uh, my friend has kids, two kids. So this is what, one of the bedrooms for one of the kids. So we are currently going into this bedroom for a child. If you have a child, this will be your child's room. Your child should have their own room. If they are getting older, especially when they are younger, they can be together in one room. But hey, if you have more space, your children can definitely also use this. So this is one of the rooms for the children. Uh, and you can see the washroom there as well. Can see it has a washroom there, right? Good. All right. So bedroom for one of the children, okay? And the name of the ch child was here, but hey, it's been taken off, so that is it. And then it has a smoke and a fire detector. Smoke and fire detector. What is the purpose of this? In case there is smoke or there is fire, this is going to blow off and alert everybody in the house. This is a smoke detector, a fire detector. Uh, it, it picks carbon monoxide. In case there is any smell of car carbon monoxide, it's going to be picking it up as well. All right. Now, the flooring is also very, very solid, rock solid. This flooring came at the stage that it dated brand new five years ago, and it's been kept so well. All right. This is all space. Space for extra storage. You can see that extra storage, extra storage. You can call this a closet or something like that. Store your stuff here. A lot of space for storage. Definitely a lot of room. And I love the choice of doors here. Yeah? Smooth doors. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Good. And this is another bedroom here for the other child, two kids. So this is the other child's bedroom. So, yeah, each of the kids have their own bedroom. You can see that. Good, 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 good. And then everybody has their own bathroom too. Can you see that? Bathroom right there. All right. And a toilet. Good. So that is it about, oh my goodness, and a huge closet for you to have your stuff, like keep your clothes and stuff like that, double, huge closet. Yeah. If you have a wife who has a lot of clothes, you know what I mean, huh? And if you have kids who have a lot of clothes, closet space is very important. And then as I walk to the other areas here, uh, this room here you are seeing here is pretty, pretty huge. Um, the room size here is pretty good. In fact, in some cities, they would have turned this into a bedroom. But this space here, I understand, is an additional closet space for just the wife. So the wife was hanging close here all the way, like just extra clothing space. This is massive. This is, this is a huge space for closet space, okay, for our wives. 
<laughs> All right, and now this becomes an additional open living room area upstairs. So you could decide to have TV here. You could decide to mount your chairs. Um, even on the upstairs, there is still space for you to have an additional living room. So I feel this is beautiful. And I kind of like the transition of colors. Look, look at the color here. We have lighter colors here as you walk from the bedrooms, right? And then as you walk to the parents' room, for instance, and you walk from that side or the, of the hallway, and you walk all the way here, you see the transition of color. We have the dark or light dark colors here, which for me is a perfect transition, helping you to blend in the light, the natural light that comes from your rear, right? Because this is the rear of the house. So the natural lighting from the double big, uh, huge windows come in here and then they, it, 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 it's a beautiful contrast, especially if you have your home theater or your entertainment session built here. I think it's, it's, it's a great idea. I love the transition of colors, especially how he, the owner goes in between the colors. Like, I just love them. All right, and this is all cozy uh, carpet systems here. So, oh my goodness, and I love this. And this is for the parents, right? Can you see that? Yeah, can you see this? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You have your bathroom here. You have your shower area here, right here. You can even choose to sit if you want. If you're taking your shower, you can choose to sit. Beautiful, right? To take your shower. And then on top of that, if you want to go in your, uh, whatever it is to go do your thing down in the jacuzzi, you can also do your stuff here. Pretty, pretty beautiful. And look at the mirror, just huge. This is massive. This is massive. I love what I'm seeing. Yeah. I love what I'm seeing. You have an extra uh, room here with a toilet piece right here. Good. And I love the amount of natural light we have coming in here. It's beautiful. I love light. Love natural light. So and this is the backyard. That's the backyard. I hope to go to the back. I understand there is a story behind all the uh, trees and pieces of wood you see. Basically, if this family visits any new city, they try and pick something from there that they can remember the city with. So all the trees and pieces of wood you see here, they were picked from a city this family visited. There are so many trees and there is a history behind all of them, serving as a memory for this family, reminding them of whichever city they have been to. It is properly marked and they have a story. And this is an African family, guys. This is an African family doing this. Can we also live lives like this? beautiful the backyard all right thank you so much for allowing me to show you all of this good the basement is also another place on its own uh two bedroom plus a den making it about three bedroom there but i will not be able to show you that okay i will not be able to show you the bed basement the reason is that there is somebody who has just moved in a tenant has just moved in so we are not legally allowed to even show you that space okay i won't be able to show you that but hey guys um are you enjoying this let me tell you something here you see me preach about real estate guys i'm not kidding real estate is so powerful even those who do real estate in africa and they do it well they will tell you it's so powerful land that was purchased 10 years ago has gone up so much in value if you live in africa and you own a piece of land you know what i'm talking about if you understand how real estate works, you can leverage on it to massively build and create generational wealth. You see, this person bought this property five years ago, just five years ago, 2016, for the 600,000 Canadian dollar mark. Of course, you take a mortgage, so you don't even have to pay all of that. You probably will do a 5% down payment or a 10% down payment or something. I mean, you put down about 60,000 or maybe 100,000 or something like that. But at the end of the day, in just five years, this property has appreciated by more than 300 and something percent. You heard me right. The market value of this property as I speak today is a minimum of $2 million. So think about this. If you have the chance and you live abroad and you have the money to buy a property and the location is good, where good means that it's thriving, there are businesses there people are moving into the city there are schools there are hospitals the road network is good it's a booming economy and a great city you will never regret buying a property there even if you don't do anything to the property and you're just living with your family this property will appreciate over time into the millions of dollars those who bought properties in queens in new york queens uh queen the queens area in new york right uh in the bronze area or whatever it is in london 
who bought properties five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago. If you are watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. In the last one and a half year alone, real estate prices have doubled in Canada. You heard me right. Anybody who bought a property about a year ago or two years ago, check the value of your property. It has doubled in price. That is the power of real estate. This is the secret behind Donald Trump's success, real estate. This is the secret behind Robert Kiyosaki's success, real estate. This is the secret behind most of the millions that have been made by millionaires in the world. And yours truly is sharing this with you freely, helping you. I hope you understand. This is the power of real estate. Now, the owner of this property may choose not to even sell the property. You know, I don't believe in selling property just for selling sake. I believe in pulling out the equity and reinvesting it to buy another. I've done a whole video on how to do that. Check out my other videos on how I buy properties without. So let's think about this, guys. This person bought this property for 600,000 area there. Now it is worth 2 million. Can somebody tell me in the comment section how much equity or value appreciation this property has commanded? Tell me in the comment section and let me know whether you are students of Chuck Chuck Millionaire and you are following. How much appreciation of value has been created by this property from the time of purchase to now? How much appreciation has it created? Tell me. Tell me that. If somebody is watching this, let me know if you are good students and you'll be following my videos on real estate. You bought this property for 600,000 five years ago, but now it is worth 2 million. How much appreciation or how much equity or how much value has it created by going up in price? Let me know in the comment section. Then I'll teach you the wisdom behind why I'm asking you this question. Can somebody tell me? 1.4 million. Very good student. Thank you very much. 1.4 million. Samuel Brainboss Doku, 1.4. My brother Kumia, see my students are following. Guys, now here is a trick, guys. I'm going to say this again. The owner of this property does not have to sell it in order to use the 1.4. <laughs> Can you hear me? If I am the owner of this property, I don't have to sell it in order to make the profit of 1.4. In real estate, you are allowed to pull out your 1.4, or even if you don't pull all of it, they allow you to pull about 80% of it. Can you imagine, guys? Somebody should calculate 80% of 1.4. They can allow you to actually pull 80% of 1.4 in real cash. In real cash. In real cash, you can pull about 80% of the 1.4. And then when you pull it, what do I mean by pulling, guys? Real money into your bank account. Real money in check. Real money in dollar value given to you. The bank will give it to you. And do you know what you're going to do with that money? You're going to turn around and you're going to buy more of this. You're going to buy more of this. And you're going to buy more of this. Eh? <laughs> this is what we call equity. I don't believe in selling properties. Why should I sell something that grows up in value? It doesn't make sense. Imagine if this person has sold this property four years ago. How much would they have sold it? 700, 800,000. But because they didn't sell it, it keeps growing. Guys, probably I may come here again a year or two from now. And you're going to hear me come back and tell you again this property is worth $3 million, $4 million. Why? It is the power of real estate. This is the power of real estate. This is the power, guys. You hear me? I said all my properties have doubled in value. Three years ago, I bought my first property for... 281,000. It has doubled. Now the market value of that property is about $650,000. But I just bought it three years ago. So tell me, why should I sell it? When I can still pull out the value of appreciation in real money and go and buy another one without selling the property. And this is the part that will confuse you. You don't have to sell it. The bank will give you the money back. It's called equity. If it is giving you, if, it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if they make your mind the days, the way you know they understand, watch my old videos on my YouTube channel. Why I explain how these things work. This is what they don't teach you in school. This is what your parents and our parents and our teachers don't teach us. You went to the business school, didn't you? You did a bit of business, right? You even went to the business school, huh? Did they teach you about these things? No. Did they teach you how to build wealth? No. They taught you all students. They taught all of us. They taught all of us how to work and get a certificate and get a job, isn't it? Nobody teaches us how to make money. Nobody teaches us. The things I know today, I wish somebody taught me when I was a child. That is why I said I will raise my case to be super smart. 
By the time my kids will grow up, they already know how real estate works. In this case, this case, Joanna is going to own properties. John Henry is going to own properties. Why not? Because they have parents who know the game and they are going to pass it on. You think Ronaldo is not going to pass on the Ronaldo legacy to the children? You think Lionel Messi is not going to pass it on? Every rich person creates that generational wealth within the family. They don't teach us these things. Don't blame your parents. You, they don't know it. Your, your parents don't know this. How would they teach you this? My own parents, they didn't teach me. Would they, why should I blame them? They don't know it now. Can, they, can you teach something you don't know? Your teachers, they don't even know this. So. Your teachers don't know this. Would they teach you this? Yeah? The teachers don't know this. They don't understand the wealth creation principles that the wealthy people use. Would they teach you this? If your business management teacher or your cost accounting teacher doesn't know this, would they teach you this? How can you impart something you don't know? I can guarantee you, my channel is not going to be a comedy channel. My channel is not going to be a, 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 a hilarious channel where you come and watch comedy. And, no, 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 no. It's going to be a conscious thing. Hmm? When you watch it, you are going to be sitting and you are going to be gingered like this. That is what I intend to do. I want to spike you up. I want to inspire you to begin taking action. I don't care whether you're an immigrant from a poor family or not. You are going to hold keys and hold keys and hold keys. You are going to hold keys and hold keys. This land, yeah? I go hold keys to many, many houses. I hold keys to many, many houses. Why? Because it is your portion. And you deserve it. And I'm telling you this. This was done by an African. I don't have permission to show the African family today with their kids and all of that. But they've given me permission to do this. And I'm telling you this. If I'm showing you this, 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 by somebody who came from Africa, who came from Ghana, with just a traveling bag and has been able to build this, why can't you do it? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do this? I hope this video has blessed you. If you enjoyed this, smash and drop your emojis. Drop your comments. Let me know whether you've learned something or not. Share this video. I want to create a movement. I want to see a movement. I want to see a movement of positive energy vibrating through our friends and our brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter where you live. Whether it's South Korea or... No, no, no. We, I want to create that movement that we can all do it. You can do it. That movement of I can and I can and I can do it. That is what I want to see. I want to see people who come back and say, Chocolate Millennia, we listen to your advice and we run with it and we own properties. We've created more wealth. We can afford vacation. We are traveling with our kids. We are taking vacations to countries we never thought we could do, we could go to. And oh my goodness, we can afford the dream car. We can afford everything. It's, the world is not all about money. The world is not all about money. You know me, you watch my channel. This world is not all about money. This world is not all about money. But you and I know money is one of the stresses of life. Money distress, oh? Money distress. Money problems, na big wahala. Hmm? Money problem. No be small problem, oh? Na big, big, big problem. If you know if you figure out the code to solve them, huh? it will stress you, stress you. Day. Money will affect your life. Money will affect your relationship with your family. Money will affect your relationship with your father. Money will affect your relationship with your mom. Money will affect your relationship with your best friends. Money will affect your relationship with your girlfriend. Money will even change your sex position. Eh? You see poor people where they enjoy sex where well, well before. Eh? They don't even have binatone for no. They don't even have binatone to put on them to enjoy the sex. So. Eh? If you get money, if you get real money, where they, you, 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 you get wife where you enjoy them. Eh? You enjoy them well, 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 well. well. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes truly. <laughs> Let me pick up my shoe and put on my shoe, my goodness. <laughs> Let me put on my shoe, eh? Yes truly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I just sat on my car, eh? That's my car making the noise there, eh? Good. Mm -hmm. Good, that was my car, that was my car, eh? I sat on it, the key was in my pocket. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, I'm in so much fire. If somebody told me, today you, you can't even get any of the properties in this area for under $2 million. Beautiful. See, see the area, I showed the beginning, you saw the area. Look at it, let me see if I can show you the, the streets. Let me show you, let me see if I can show you the streets a bit. 
Ah, oh, this place. Hi, how are you? Are you? Okay, you are here, right? You are coming here? Okay, sure. Okay. One of the tenants is coming in, an Indian. The tenant is coming in, so I'm going to wrap up my video. But I hope this has blessed you. More fire. More fire. 2022 will be the beginning of greater things to happen to you in Jesus' name. I pray and I pray over your life that you will rise up and break that poverty in your family. No more excuses. No more excuses. No more blaming of our fathers and our mothers. They didn't know it. We will let them be. But you are going to rise up. You are going to rise up.